I'm back with another get ready with me but today I'm gonna talk about how you can use full coverage makeup and still get a nice soft look that you can wear anywhere this is the look with all of my um, full coverage products so with that being said let's get into the video but today we are going to do a look that is very soft natural looking but we're gonna be using a lot of full coverage products so got my makeup in front of me and the first thing that I think that you know it's good to start off with is your base and that would be your skin you always want to make sure you've exfoliated you've well moisturized and things like that especially if you're like me and you're not going to use a primer I typically don't use well I don't use primers because uh, I find that they clog my pores they cause acne and anytime you or I add extra layers on my face my skin um, it suffocates the skin making it feel drier which if your skin feels drier it's going to produce more oil so I, I just skip that so anyway it's always good to start off with an exfoliator and I'm just gonna quickly tell you what I used I used this pineapple exfoliating powder by good molecules and it's real gentle if you have any like um, like little rough spots or something that needs to be sloughed off gently this can quickly do it for you and then I went in with my hyaluronic acid serum and my Clinique moisturizer and this is just the clear jelly it does have the serum attached to it uh, but it's mainly for the jelly and for the eyes my eye cream because if you're going to be using full coverage you got to make sure that your under eyes are prepped my favorite is this Clarins total eye lift but um, polish choice has a good one as well and this is the Clinique ceramide enriched firming eye cream so you know those are the products that I use to you know prep my skin anytime that I'm gonna use full coverage makeup you always 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 want to get your base covered you want to get that skin nice hydrated plump because you don't want it feeling parched because if it feels parched it's gonna be like oh my goodness what's going on all right enough about that now we're gonna go into the foundation and the foundation that I'm gonna use is this Natasha Denona X Plus. This is full coverage. This is the bottle. And I did a video on this. I'm not even sure if you all saw it because this video is like probably two years old now. But if you wanna check it out, I'll link it down below. And if I'm not mistaken, um, I do like the, this does have some good ingredients in it. But the reason that I'm gonna go with this one is because it's full coverage, but it's a thinner consistency. So there are some co uh, full coverage foundations out there that are full coverage and thin so if you find that you need that definitely pick a foundation that's like that uh, stay away from the full coverage foundations that are thick those are not your friend uh, if you are especially in my age group that's, those are just not going to be your friend so I'm just going to shake this and also um, with this one if you do get this foundation you have to shake it up really good there is a ball in here because uh, there's a lot of uh, like orangey red type of pigment uh, which I think is the undertone in this particular shade so I'm just going to show you how thin it is and you want to be you want to use foundations that are thin like this so you see how runny that is can you see that I'm thinking you can so I'm going to go ahead and apply this with the brush and what you can do is if you don't need coverage all over your face like if you just have certain spots or certain areas that are problem areas just apply your foundation in those spots okay that's another way that you can you know um, achieve a more natural look using full coverage uh, foundations you don't have to apply it all over you can just apply it where you actually need the coverage so this is what we have so far and I am going to go in with another layer but as you can see you can definitely stop here so this is what we have so far and remember when you're putting on your foundation um, you don't want to like when you're applying it and you're noticing that your skin is drying out and it's looking matte and you know you still want to add powder and all kinds of other products on your face you know that it's time to kind of reevaluate the foundation that you have 
And for me, my problem areas are like my chin. That's where most of my hyperpigmentation is. All right, now I'm just going to go back in with the sponge and go in over everything. All right, so I have it all applied. And if you look at my skin, it still looks natural. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey or anything like that. And I know that sometimes lights can be fooling or, you know, tricky or whatever. Um, it, it, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors sometimes in light, but if I were to go out in public like this, I would be just fine. Even though I haven't put any concealer under my eyes or brows or anything like that, you want to have a thin foundation. Just remember that. Okay. Now, let's move into the concealer and I um, sh I did a shop my stash and I pulled this concealer. This is the Clinique um, Even Better Concealer. This is considered full coverage. Uh, I don't know about that, but I am going to go ahead and I'm going to apply it all right here. Okay, so I like this one because um, it doesn't give you a cakey look plus you know it's got some good ingredients in it if you can always try to pick makeup that has some uh, skin loving ingredients in it especially if you wear makeup every day I mean just your skin will thank you for it trust me so I'm going to apply this and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and I'm gonna take it all the way up because I want a little bit of a highlighted look on my eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit on the outer part like this and add this in. All right, so as you can see, I've got it all applied and it doesn't look cakey. You don't want that. Now, of course I haven't added the powder, but it does not look cakey. I am going to, I'm not going to fill in my brows. I've just been trying that here lately and I kind of like the look. So what I, what I am going to do is I'm just going to highlight this part right here just to kind of give me a little bit of a lift and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to use the same concealer and I'm just going to highlight this part right here. All right, so I got that in and I'm just going to take my sponge and just kind of blend that out. All right, so I'm also going to add just a little bit right here and right here for highlighting purposes. You know that that's just something that I like to do. And I'm going to add some here and just a little right here. And I'm going to come down just a little, just a little bit. And I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of smooth that out. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. So I put on two layers of this foundation and remember, I always keep it thin. I have my concealer on and I only highlighted right up there in the brow bone on my um, eyes. I'm not going to fill in my brows because um, I'm trying to go for a softer natural look. Now I'm going to go in with some powder and I'm going to lightly add some powder right up under here, right here. Uh, everywhere where I put the concealer mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go ahead and use my Givenchy powder this is it now this is the one that's uh, broken up into uh, four different colors and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use these two it's kind of hard to see but anyway I'm, I'm gonna show it to you I'm gonna use these two shades right here okay I'm not sure if you can see it and it's always tricky getting the shades that you want out because the darker shades come in so I just kind I have to you know put get all of the colors out and then dip my sponge in the shades that I want I know it's just it's tricky you're supposed to mix them all together uh, from my understanding but I'm not gonna do that and I'm just gonna go back in with this brush and smooth out any lines that may have settled which I don't see any. And also when you have powder, let's say um, going back to primers, if you use primers because, let me get this out. If you use primers because of, let's say pores or texture or something like that, and um, it's kind of minimal, it's not a lot. If you get a powder that is uh, blurring, has a blurring effect, uh, that can remedy that. And I feel as though this powder really does 
do that. Another thing that I like about this powder is that it doesn't cause my allergies to act up and you all know I'm a I, I'm a stickler for that. If you if you're wearing makeup and all of a sudden your eyes are running, you're sneezing, and you do it's something it's something in one of your makeup products uh, that you're allergic to, and you might want to consider just getting rid of it or switching it out if you can. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this over my brows, a little bit like this. Okay, I'm gonna go back over with the butt of the sponge over everything. All right, so for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. This is it. I really like this palette, and I like it because it's simple to use. You know, everything is uh, corresponds well together, meaning whatever metallic shade you had in, have in this palette, you have a matte to match it. So with that being said, I'm gonna use this Dusty Rose shade or column, and I'm just gonna put the shade, the, the matte shade in my crease, and I'm gonna put the metallic shade on my lid, where th this is simple. We're not doing the most <laughs> in this video. We're gonna keep it simple, super simple. So, you know, this is it. And it might look really light, and that's okay, because we're going for a softer, full coverage, natural look, okay? You see how soft that is? You can barely see it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that in a little bit. And it doesn't, as you can see, this palette doesn't have any fallout, anything, I love it. If you're looking for something that's gonna be natural, easy to use um, for every day, for work or for the office or for church or wherever you have to go, I would consider um, this palette. I really like it. All right, so you see how I have all of that applied? Now I'm just gonna go in with the metallic shade. I'm gonna add that on my lid and that'll be it for the eyes. And I think that the look will still remain, you know, soft and natural looking. So I'm just gonna add this, that shade with a flat paddle brush. All right, and now that I have that applied, I'm gonna just go back in with the matte shadow and just kind of blend that in a little bit. All right, and can you see that? Finish. Now I'm gonna go in and do the other eye and throw on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the lashes on and I just picked some dollar lashes and you can always um, kind of tell, like I'm gonna look down and I'm not sure if you can tell, but um, they look a little shiny. To kind of combat that, you can put a black shadow on it. I did, sometimes that works, sometimes not so much. I don't feel as though it worked this time, but either way, these were the smallest lashes that I could find in my collection. You all know, I love lashes. I like them big, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move into some bronzer. And you might be thinking, well, Bridget, you didn't powder your your uh, the rest of your face, and that's true. So just remember what I said earlier. Try to put your um, your products only in the places that you need it. Okay, so this has dried down. Um, it feels like a satin finish to me. I don't feel as though I need some more powder. I could if I needed that extra coverage. So if you need that extra coverage, definitely pick a powder that's not going to be so heavy on the skin. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and bronze with my Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Coco Naughty. And this is the shade. So I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush and I'm going to apply it up here. And bring it down right here. And I'm gonna keep it as light as possible. I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose. So as you can see, I kept that really light. You can barely see it, barely, barely see it. And that's just it. You always want to, if you're gonna have the full coverage products and use lots of powder, just apply a thin layer, especially to the areas of your face that really don't need a lot of work. All right, so got that applied. Now let's go in with a little bit of a highlight. I have this CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Liquid 
this is it right here and it's marketed as like having a shimmer in it but to me it doesn't have a shimmer but that's okay I'm just gonna use this cream and you all remember um, you can put creams on powder you know and vice versa you do have to be careful sometimes because sometimes you know products don't play well together and I always talk about that I'm gonna use a stippling brush and I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna add a little bit right there and on this side just like so and a little bit on my nose so i find that this particular product plays well with other foundations and makeup i think you can get it at walmart so this just kind of gives you a little bit of a glow as you can see it's really pretty and it's such a pretty shade do you see how that looks that is like so gorgeous. All right, now for blush, I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. monochromatic, um, what is this, melted stick? I think that's what the name of it is. This is it right here. And it's kind of like the shade of my shirt and I feel like it goes with the eyeshadow as well. So I'm going to use the same brush that I used to put on my, um, the little highlight. And I'm just going to get some on my brush and I'm only gonna apply a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in with my sponge. And this one does have a little sparkles in it and glitter, so if that's not your cup of tea, stay away from this little baby right here. All right, so we're in the home stretch. I'm just gonna apply my lipstick and I have this uh, Too Faced melted liquid lipstick i don't know the shade i'll put it down in the comments if you're interested but this is just to kind of stay with the same shades that i have on my face okay and now that i have that applied i'm going to add this uh, maybelline lifter gloss and i think this is in topaz All right, so I got that applied and now I'm going to spray with my maracuja miracle mist this is it right here And that's it, this is it. This is how you can use lots of full coverage makeup without it looking heavy. It's still looking soft and natural. Um, let me know what you all think. Have you tried any of the products that I've tried? Um, if so, let me know what you think about them. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, which is.